We all find ourselves in lives we didn't expect. Do you think that we got where we are by letting some inbreds muscle us? If that's who you think we are, you're making a fatal miscalculation. We're bankers, and judges, and police officers. So you're threatening me with people more powerful than you? Exactly. So what am I talking to you for? I signed up to fight in the war. I went away a soldier. I came home an outlaw. Live by Night is based in the book by Dennis Lehane. And this has been very successful having novels translated to film, I think just because he's so good. Filmmakers from Scorsese to Eastwood and others have recognized that and adapted his work. When I heard Ben was gonna come back in and do Live By Night, this is coming right off the heels of Argo. I was happy. Some books seem like they'd be difficult to make in the movies and some just seem to be begging to do it. And that's what Dennis's are. He writes in a very cinematic way. And so it's just kind of my homage to the great 1930s Warner Brothers gangster films. I got one guaranteed life. I was gonna live it. I had a plan. When we first meet Joe, he's a guy who's kind of aimless and decided there wasn't meaning in life or in the rules of life. What you put out into this world would always come back to you, but it never comes back how you predict. Thomas is a tough love dad. His son has gone in a different direction, and he's striving to reach him. He's a police officer, and he doesn't approve of the fact that his son has decided to be an outlaw. I want to be a gangster. I stopped kissing rings a long time ago. It no longer matters what you want. You're in this life. Once he's working for Maso, he's really becoming a gangster. He's becoming part of that power structure he said he would never be part of. Even if you win today's battle, there's so much violence in what you do. You don't think I'm strong enough? I don't know if you're cruel enough. Powerful men don't have to be cruel. This is really a story about the journey of a man into maturity. We do what we want to do. We go where we want to go. Against the backdrop of a time in history that is fascinating, where the world was changing. My father says there once was a good man in you. I think you'll look at Joe and go, there's a great man there. He's going to kind of get out of his own way and really make a massive decision. He has a full life of trials and tribulations and checks and balances. Repent. 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 It's the story of this man's life and his journey. Who he's trying to be and who he becomes and what the price you pay is for living by your own terms, making your own rules. You spend your life hoping someone will punish you for your sins. Well, here I am. We're bringing you into this world with all these great actors populating it. You feel like you're really living this life and going through this experience. It's such an intricate woven web of people. <laughs> there is this great chemistry. You're instantly transported. Joseph! There was so much love for the material and their characters and for Ben and his shows and all their performances. It's exhilarating to be in a creative space. It's everything you hope for on a movie set. Brendan Gleeson just brings a gravitas to everything he does. I don't think there's anything he's not capable of. All right, stand by. Here we go. He's always got this incredible simplicity I was amazed at. It's really impossible to catch your acting. I remember thinking, I would want to be a part of a project like this. I found layers in this. I found dimension in Graciela, and that's exciting to me. Chris is magical. We worked together in the town, and he was so lights out good, just knew I'd have to use him for the role of the sheriff. I have always been attracted to good story, good characters. And then Elle plays his daughter. I mean, she's just a naturally, extremely gifted actress. She's got a tremendous reservoir of maturity. Just came from one of the tent revivals. It was pretty remarkable the way she handled this scene. I was just excited knowing that Ben was going to direct it. I really wanted to work with him. Ben as a director just makes it move along and makes everything easier. I have a great deal of respect for him as an artist, and he's shown such amazing talent as a director. He doesn't stop working, and he is incredibly focused, and there is not one yawn or one hint of kind of exhaustion. This experience has honestly been one of the greatest that I've ever had. He is to the director's chair born. It's beautifully acted. It's gorgeous to look at. He's got an action sequence in the first third that's, I think, one of the best I've ever seen. 
This was a bigger movie than I'd ever done. So the real challenge was to do a movie in that classic way, to make it as gripping and visceral as it could possibly be, where the blockbuster of it was in its scope. This movie feels beautiful and elegant. It's just 